journey to the CFL. It was surely wasn't expected, you know, just like any other college athlete, your goal is to make it to the NFL, but you know, that didn't happen for me after the draft. So I decided to go to a so-called lower league, which is the CFL. So I looked up workouts online and whichever workouts were coming to Dallas, I was gonna hit all of them. When I got over there, it was like maybe 350 guys there. Like some guys were from college, some guys were from the NFL. Some guys didn't even go to college at all. So it was kind of like, you're doing this at your own risk. Everybody had to sign a waiver, did good in it. They ended up sending me a contract. And I was the only person from that whole workout group that day that got a contract. So that's a blessing in itself. All seasons in the CFL, you know, we didn't really make that much money. Because when you're on rookie contract, you like 100% got to get a job. And I would drive Uber. And so that was kind of a humbling experience for me. The lifestyle of being a CFL athlete is, is completely different from an NFL athlete. I'm working a job and I'm training as hard as an NFL athlete to get, you know, to where they are. And then, you know, it just really messes with you mentally. Your back is against the wall, like you're going against all odds and you got to find a way to get in the door. So that's really the main thing that people don't really see with uh, my story is the, the mental part. In 2017, I kind of didn't know if football was what I really wanted to do. You know, when I went home in that offseason, I talked to my family a lot. One thing my mom and my dad always told me, whatever you start, you got to finish. So I said, you know, I'll go back in 2018. I think me having that mindset really was what helped me excel out there and, and have a great year. And then after my final year in 2018, NFL teams started calling, workouts started rolling in, and it got to the point where I got to make my decision. It's a crazy story. When I look back at it, my own self, I'm just like, there were so many like ups and downs that I could have literally just quit and just say, you know what, forget this. But you know, I stayed the course, and now my mindset is, you know, if you put your mind to something and you really trust the process, you can get it done.